Let me guess, you're spending hours trying to understand your audience. You're trying to analyze audience data. You're brainstorming campaign ideas. You're trying to pull data from a hundred different places only to end up with the same generic marketing strategies that don't connect with your audience. But what if I told you that you could take all of your audience data, plug it into ChatGPT and have it analyze everything for you in seconds. And I'm not just talking about audience summaries. I'm talking about actually building out real marketing strategies that connect with your exact audience. Look, ChatGPT is crazy powerful for marketers, but in my opinion, I think a lot of us use it the wrong way. You're trying to get generic outputs out of ChatGPT instead of plugging in real audience data, the kind that actually matters. So with ChatGPT, you can take your audience data, plug it in and have it summarize your audience for you, have it develop new product ideas tailored to that audience, build out full marketing strategies, create social media posts and influencer campaigns, and even help you target your competitor's audience. In this video, I'm gonna show you five insanely cool ways to use ChatGPT to turn that raw audience data into actual marketing campaigns. And we're gonna use real audience insights, feed them into ChatGPT, and watch it create a campaign for us in real time. And the best part is, you don't need to be a data scientist for this. I'm gonna take you through step-by-step -step how to do this so that you too can take your audience data, plug it into ChatGPT and build effective campaigns. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So let's dive into the first cool way that we can use ChatGPT to help us analyze our audience. And that's gonna be to create a summary of our audience in seconds. And you know, listen, we've all been there. You run an audience analysis, you have pages and pages of data, you have demographics, interest behaviors, and really who has the time to manually go through all that and develop a summary for your audience. So let's let ChatGPT do the heavy lifting. And here's what we're gonna do. So let's analyze the audience of Beyond Me. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use audience. It just makes it easier to pull this kind of data. It segments really well, and it gives you a lot to work with. So we're gonna use that. So the first step you're gonna do, and this is regardless of any tool you have, uh, essentially you wanna take a screenshot of all your data. So we're gonna zoom out here in audience, but again, whatever tool you use, use that. If you use manual spreadsheets, use that. You just want to have everything in a picture. So we're going to take that, we're going to screenshot it, and we're going to put it into ChatGPT. And then we're going to say to it, summarize this audience in three short sentences that would help me market to them. You're going to hit it, it's going to do its thing. And boom, look, right away, it pulls up a really good description of your entire audience and all of its segments. So this audience is primarily composed of young professionals, 25 to 34, who are highly engaged in topics related to veganism, sustainability, ethical investing, influenced by prominent figures in activism, business, and culture, including Greta Thunberg, Elizabeth Warren, and Jeff Bezos. And they consume content from sources like the New York Times and the BBC News. So to market to them, emphasize ethical and sustainable brand values, uh, highlight innovation in plant-based and climate-conscious products, and engage with them through culturally relevant influencers and media. And right away, without having to go through all of that yourself and think of how you're gonna connect all these ideas, it gives you a really clear snapshot of who your audience is. So you can send that out to your team, you can send that out to stakeholders, all with the ability to now really understand who your audience is at a very high level. So you can start to market to them effectively. But we don't wanna stop there, right? We can also ask it to give us a picture of who these people look like. So could you provide an image of what this group of people look like that we can use for buyer personas, right? And it's again, it's about taking it to the next level, right? It's good to have a visual, especially when you're creating um, personas. It's good to have a visual of what this audience might look like so that you can market to them more effectively. So we're letting ChatGPT do its thing here. It's going to pop out with something soon and boom, you got this. And again, it's it's the faces are a little weird but I think it captures a good vibe and uh, you can kind of get an idea of the people that you would market to, at least mentally. So when you're creating your marketing and your messaging, you can target them effectively. So that's the first step. Let's move on to step number two and how you can use ChatGPT super effectively to come up with new product ideas. All right, so the second cool way to use ChatGPT with your audience is to help you develop product ideas, right? And if anyone out there has ever tried to come up with product ideas, it can be, a painful process to say the least. You sit in a room, you try to brainstorm products, thinking of what might work or what might not work. But with ChatGPT, you can get it to do the heavy lifting for you with a couple prompts and based on real audience data. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hop back into ChatGPT and using Beyond Meat again as our example, we're gonna do this prompt. Here are the current Beyond Meat product offerings. We're gonna insert a link. I just pulled them up from here. 
We're gonna insert this link here. And then based on this and the audience insights that I uploaded earlier, come up with a brand new product the Beyond Meat could sell. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna plop it in and we're gonna see what ChatGPT comes up with. Uh, almost done. And so here we go. We have something that pops up right away. So considering Beyond Meat's current product lineup and in the interest of your sustainability and innovation with your target audience, including plant-based seafood alternative would be a strategic addition. Interesting, maybe not something you'd think of. This new product could replicate popular seafood items such as tuna, salmon, or shrimp, offering the same taste and texture without the environmental impact associated with traditional fishing and aquaculture. And I won't read the rest here, but you want to take it a step further. So this is good. Like now maybe you think, okay, seafood might be an option and you can go further now into researching that with your target audience, right? You could do surveys, you could do customer groups, whatever, to really test this idea. But you want to take it a step further. So say that we want to see what the packaging might look like. So with this product idea in mind, can you do a packaging mock-up of what this might look like on the shelves of a store, right? Again, it's about taking it a step further and really milking ChatGPT for all it can do. So it's gonna come up with a product and a package for this. So it can give us an idea of kind of how to move forward. But before you know it, we have a product. So Beyond Seafood, it kind of, again, it's not perfect, right? And that's, it's not supposed to be like using ChatGPT, taking it as it is, is not the goal of this that I mentioned earlier. But the whole idea is to start to get you thinking and start to get you moving quicker so that you can sit down, use your brain creatively and start to develop these ideas. So now, you know, we've gone from summarizing an audience to now coming up with a potential product that we can test and talk to our audience about. And we even have a packaging that might look good. So we have this plant based, you know, shrimp seafood it comes in a box. It kind of looks like a salt box. So again, don't take it out of its word. But again, the whole point of this is to help you think creatively, get you moving a little faster, allowing you to start testing out ideas. So let's move on to step number three. Now we want to use ChatGPT to actually help us create a marketing campaign for this new product and for our audience. All right, so we summarize our audience. We got a killer new product idea, shout out Beyond Seafood. And now it's like, what do we do next? How do we actually market this thing? And this is the third cool thing that you can use ChatGPT to help you develop a marketing strategy. So obviously coming up with a marketing strategy, it's it's a lot, right? You have to think about messaging, you have to think about content, you have to think about which channels you're gonna be on. It can be a lot. And we can use ChatGPT to get us 90% of the way there. And this is how we're gonna do it. So going back to our audience report, instead of trying to market this to every single group that belongs to this audience, we're gonna pick one group specifically that we think this is gonna resonate with the most. And for that purpose, we're gonna use the health and animals segment because these are the people that care about animal rights, veganism, all those sort of things that are gonna help us connect better with them. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, and again, regardless of what tool you have, this is kind of the approach you wanna take. You wanna break down that audience's you know, full audience persona. So their demographics, their socioeconomics, influencers and brands for them, interest categories, media affinity, content, all that sort of stuff. And the way you wanna do that again is to screenshot. So you wanna zoom out um, and go through each one, one by one. So we, we're gonna want our demographics. We're gonna want our socioeconomics influencers and brands this is all cool stuff interest categories sorry i know this is taking a long time but you know it's all for a purpose media affinities so where they kind of you know download their news content where they spend their time personality this is a cool one that you might not have access to this one in audience is power, powered by ibm watson and it really pulls these cool personality traits of this audience so that you can help understand them a little more purchase behaviors that's a big one you know what actually helps them and then online habits so this is going to be things like where they spend most of their time online including social platforms now once you have all that you're going to want to upload it all there we go and now you want to take it and say, I want you to help me build a marketing strategy to target the audience of health 
and animals segment i have dropped everything about them to analyze from demographics to personality insights where they spend time online etc please create a marketing targeting strategy that we could market beyond seafood too cool and you're gonna let it do its thing it's gonna analyze all the pictures that you sent it all the data that you fed it and it's gonna build us a marketing strategy so this is great we have an audience overview to start the health and animal segment it's values driven passion about veganism sustainability ethical consumerism all reasons why we thought this would be a good fit for this new product the insights it's going to pull out uh the positioning strategy and messaging strategy so core pillars sustainability and ethics health and nutrition taste and experience again these are all awesome things that really get you thinking quicker about how to market to this audience without having to spend so much time really kind of challenging yourself and and thinking about it and again you don't want to take it word for word like chat gpt has to be used as an assistant right it's helping you get to your ideas faster so that you can spend less time on you know laborious chore type of work and more time on actually thinking about how to develop product and marketing strategies so yeah before you know it, you have all of this you have the marketing channels that you should be on influencer and brand collaboration ideas media and pr strategies targeting digital advertising ad messaging variants community and grassroots activations like you have a lot of really really good stuff here so you know you can take this now you could step back and you can look and think okay this is how we can market to these people and you've done it in a fraction of the time so really really awesome thing here and so for the next step we're going to go into helping us to develop social media posts and potential influencer campaigns to really get this product off the ground. All right, so we got our audience summarized. We have a killer product idea. We have a full-blown marketing strategy made in minutes. And now you wanna make it real, right? So let's use ChatGPT to help us mock up some social media posts and potential influencer collaborations. And so this one's simple. You wanna hop into ChatGPT. It has all our data so far that we've used. And you want to use this prompt, mock up a sample Instagram post for this Beyond Seafood campaign, including the caption, hashtags, and a suggested influencer to collaborate with. So you hit that. It's going to do its thing. Cool. So it gave us uh, an Instagram post, a bit of, you know, some inspiration to go with. And again, I'm going to keep saying this. This stuff can be very generic like this. It's meant to act as a prompt for your brain to start getting the vision and figuring out how you can now take this and apply your own creative spin knowing what you know about your audience but before you know it it gave us a mock-up of what that could look like and then it gave us a caption 100 percent plant-based ocean friendly and packed with protein and omega-3s all the taste none of the guilt this could be a really good ad right right away like if you wanted to retarget some of your customers on social media platforms or wherever this could be a really good ad and then suggested influencer collaborations you have Greta Thunberg depending on your budget that might be a tough thing Gaz Oakley, so a renowned vegan chef who creates high quality plant-based recipes and has a strong influence on food lovers. That one might be a little more approachable and actually better because, you know, they have their own channels where they have their own audience. And if you can work with them directly, uh, you might have way more impact doing that, right? So before you know it, ChatGPT is going to give you these, your social posts, it's going to give you captions, and now you have influencer collaboration ideas so that you can take it. If you want to take it a step further, you could say, let's say we wanted to work with Gaz. Could you create an influencer email outline and copy we could send, right? Just to show you how easy it is to kind of keep the process going. And then before you know it, you have an influencer outreach email. Because again, you have to focus on saying the right things with the right information, making sure you're packing it all in. And ChatGPT allows you to get there faster so that you can now go over this and edit it the way you want rather than having to come up with it from scratch um, again just a super cool benefit to take things to the next step to help you develop and finally we'll move on to the next step which is the fifth coolest way to use chat gpt for your audience and that's to actually outline your competitor's audience so that you can target them and steal them effectively. So let's jump into that one. All right, so now we have a full marketing strategy made in minutes with the help of ChatGPT, right? We've summarized our audience. We have a really cool product idea. We've made an entire marketing strategy and we've even had it help us create social posts and potential influencer campaigns and an influencer outreach email. 
But there is one last really cool thing that you can do with ChatGPT, and that is to steal or analyze your competitor's audience so that maybe you can win them over, right? And if you think about it, your competitors have done the heavy lifting, they've attracted their audience, they've connected with their audience. So instead of playing catch up and trying to figure out how to win them over, we can use ChatGPT to compare our audiences side by side and find an opportunity to win them over and create a marketing campaign or strategies that would connect with them. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use a side by side of their audience. So we're gonna use Impossible Foods, which is the biggest competitor of Beyond Meat. And we're gonna have Beyond Meat's audience. And we're gonna look at them and see if there's anything standing out that we can use. And right away, when you look at them, there is one segment that exists for Impossible Foods that doesn't exist for Beyond Meat, and that's the conservative values segment. So using that information, we're gonna hop back into ChatGPT. We're gonna post both of those audiences side by side, and then we're gonna use this prompt. I would like Beyond Meat to target the segment called conservative values because their competitor, Impossible Foods, has captured them, but Beyond Meat has not. I'm uploading insights on this audience. I want you to analyze them and give me a marketing strategy to win them over. So you're gonna put that in, it's gonna do its thing. And again, before you know it, it's gonna come up with a marketing strategy to win those over. So you have to understand the conservative values audience, economic pragmatism, health and nutrition focus, cultural identity, skepticism towards trendy movements. These are all really important things to know. It's gonna spit out the key positioning messaging. Again, it's doing what it did before us when we wanted our own marketing strategy for the health and animals segment of that audience, but now it's gonna help us to really understand this conservative value segment so that we can start to think about how to win them over for our new product. So again, in terms of messaging and strategy, we got health and strength, economic and job benefits, familiarity and tradition, freedom of choice, sustainability without politics. It gives you messaging examples of power your family with protein packed beyond burgers, American innovation meets great taste, right? All these sort of things, targeted marketing channels. Again, where are they hanging out? Are they on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram? We want to look at all of that. Influencer ambassador programs. Again, it's giving us ideas of who to partner with. Athletes and fitness influencers, TV chefs, country music or traditional family oriented influencers. It gives us a ton here to work with. And again, I'm going to say it one last time. You don't want to take this as is, but it helps you get there a lot faster and it helps the creative juices to flow. And I think that's the most important thing as a marketer. You want to stay in a flow state. And this is exactly what it helps you do, right? So this is great. Now we have this, you know, marketing strategy and this, you know, targeting strategy that we can look at to now take our product beyond seafood, apply it to this conservative values audience and potentially win them over. And it's an amazing thing. And, uh, you know, this can just be such a useful tool. ChatGPT with your audience data can be so useful to helping you move things along and helping you get to your end goal quicker, which is obviously connecting with an audience and helping to sell your product. All right, and that's how you use ChatGPT with audience data to completely transform the way that you build marketing strategies. And here's the thing, it's not just about saving time, it's about making smarter marketing decisions and letting AI do the heavy lifting for you so that you can focus on the creative and strategic work that actually moves the needle. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments how you're using ChatGPT in your marketing. And if you want access to the audience insights that we looked at in this video, definitely check out Audience. It's what powers everything and it's gonna make your life way, way easier. But that's it for me for now. Go build something great and we'll see you in the next video.